Hi, I'm Ted Nelson. Sanadu Basics. Enough for now. I put up a mini-series of five Xanadu Basics videos, and I think I'd better stop for now. I've worked non-stop on these videos for nearly three months, writing and rewriting and rearranging to show the fundamental simplicity in our jungle of history. Now I have to turn to other work. I've written several more, but they're too technical for YouTube, and I think too tedious, arcane, and solipsistic, written for an imaginary audience of tireless, brilliant Xanadu fans who are with me all the way, understanding and agreeing with everything. And that's not too likely. For those of you tireless, brilliant friends who followed so far, thank you for your interest and support. The main purpose of the project was to get the ideas out there in a simple and clear form, in case you lose me soon. Jason Scott said to do the most important thing first, and that's what I've done. The Xanadu Project has been half of my working life outside the radar of the conventional, self-congratulatory computer world, and I don't want it to die with me. I intend for there to be an open-source Xanadu application to make this literature possible. More on that sometime later. One sad, important point I did not make clear in the videos. Visibly connected documents are incompatible with the World Wide Web. Not my fault. The web browser will not allow text to come from multiple sources. That kills compatibility with the web right there. Xanological documents have to live in a separate application of their own. Not my fault. We were here first. But that's how it is. The web standards are becoming more and more oppressive, all about special effects rather than literature. I'll stop there and not discuss other incompatibilities. I still have hopes for a deeper electronic literature, parallel with visible connections, for organizing our thoughts and sharing on our screens and in our posterity across the world. Thank you.